One of the additional new features that we brought in with LASX version 3.3 is the ability to easily save and access different camera profiles directly here in the Acquisition tab. So shown here is a drop-down menu with several different pre-saved options for bright field, dark field, fluorescence, or materials work. But equally, you can right-click and save your own custom settings, which are available here under the user dialog. In this case, I'm using the generic bright field image, and you can see the white balance isn't perfect. However, I have pre-saved a demo version of a white balanced camera setting for me so that I can easily jump right into the preferred color balance that I like to work with typically. So that's one of the new options here. Equally, instead of just having the standard controls that most folks are used to with LASX, now we have some advanced features that you can activate. Depending on the camera that you're using, you'll have different options. In this case, I'm using the color camera, the Leica DFC 7000T which gives me access to a high dynamic range, frame averaging, sharpening, all on the fly while the camera is operating. We've also got color temperature controls where we can tell the system what the color temperature of the light source is. One of my favorites is the sensor mode, which can allow you to switch between a single output mode for this particular camera or a four tap since each quadrant of this camera can be read out independently, the speed mode gives us an enhanced speed for the digitization of this camera. We can also do a black balance, which is really nice for fluorescence, as well as image streaming to further secure all the photons coming from our sample and making sure that no photons are wasted as we're imaging at our highest speeds possible. Coming into this dialog here, We've got the ability to switch between color mode and black and white mode as well. So depending on the type of camera that you have, you may see these options available for you here.